What's up guys, my name is John Weatherby. I'm a travel and landscape photographer. We're here today in Brooklyn to shoot some cityscapes. So today I have five tips for you for shooting cityscapes, but these tips could also be used for shooting landscapes as well. All right, so the first tip is gonna be composition. One thing that you cannot fix in post is composition. This is really important to make an interesting photo. So you really wanna figure out what the subject is for your photo and then figure out how to frame the subject within the photo with different parts of the foreground and background to create something three-dimensional. So I usually look for something in the front of the frame something in the middle and then something in the back to give a photo dimension and kind of make it look three-dimensional. Um, also, I look for things like leading lines as well. So this specific spot here in Brooklyn has both of those. We have some nice rocks here in the foreground. We have these pylons in the middle and then we have the cityscape in the background as our subject with the sky. And these pylons and the water actually act as a nice leading line to direct the viewer's eye through the scene to the subject, which is the skyline in the background. All right, so my next tip is to use aperture priority on your camera. So there's three pieces to creating an exposure. That's the shutter speed, the aperture, and then the ISO. So I know that I always wanna keep my ISO low so I don't have noise in the image. I know that my aperture is gonna be F8 through F11, something like that for a nice sharp photo for a cityscape or a landscape. So the last piece is the shutter speed. So I like aperture priority mode because we can let the camera figure out the shutter speed for us and it will just do all the heavy lifting. I can just dial in my ISO and my aperture and then the camera will do the shutter speed for me even during bracketing. So my next tip is gonna to be to use filters. So ND filters are really nice for creating nice long exposures. When you have something like clouds moving in the scene or water, for example, you can record the movement. You can get nice smooth water or cloud trails and create some really interesting effects and impact in the photo. So my next tip is gonna to be to use an L bracket. So if you're shooting for social media particularly, vertical shots usually work better when viewing on a phone. So I like to get both landscape and portrait orientations for my shots. And then that way I have the option afterwards as well to print them in both formats. So with an L bracket, you can quickly just switch from portrait to landscape orientation on the tripod and keep your same exact composition without having to fool around with the ball head and switching back and forth. All right, and my last tip is gonna be to shoot a time blend. Time blend is one of my favorite techniques for creating dramatic photos. So basically what I do is I leave the camera on the tripod with the same composition throughout, and I'll shoot, for example, from sunset into night, or just an extended period of time so that I can take different parts of different exposures and blend them together in post-processing. So this only works if you're using a tripod and you keep the same exact composition or else the images might not line up afterwards in post but the after result can be really dramatic and it's one of my favorite techniques to use when photographing cityscapes. All right guys, I hope that you found those tips helpful on photographing cityscapes. Let me know in the comments what your favorite place to take cityscape photos is. Mine is New York, I'm pretty biased on that. I think it's the best skyline in the world. Uh, but if you wanna connect with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, at Whereas Weatherby. If you ever need anything from me, you can reach out directly through a DM. Um, also check out my online courses and my editing plugin, The Pro Panel.